video the three ancient supplements with the most stunning benefits for your kidneys. Catherine here. I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for more than 10 years now and I've spent a significant amount of time researching supplements for kidney health because I've seen firsthand how they can make a huge difference. I've witnessed how much they can help people avoid dialysis and live longer and happier lives. This is why today I want to talk about the three most effective ancient remedies you can find. Supplements that are actually proven to help lower creatinine levels and that most people are not actually taking advantage of. Because if you ask, well, most doctors, taking natural supplements and herbs is not good for people with kidney disease. And in many cases, these are the same doctors that will tell you that there is nothing to do about your kidneys. You just wait for the dialysis. But modern medicine is not on the same page with these doctors. We know today that there is a lot more you can do than just wait for the dialysis. Improving is possible even in stage 4 and 5 of CKD, says modern medicine. And while there is no doubt that you need the right diet and lifestyle to improve, you should never underestimate what complementary medicine can do for you. Because while not everything that's natural is safe, so be careful, there are some supplements that have been widely tested on people with CKD. And some of them can really help you. They can really make a positive difference. But since I don't want to recommend taking too many things. Today, I only want to focus on the three most effective supplements out there. There are three natural supplements that have been used with success on a very large number of kidney disease patients. Only three have given positive results on thousands of kidney disease sufferers. And that's why I'm here to help you. I've done the research, I've analyzed the data, and I've selected the three most effective ancient remedies for kidney health that you can use today. Before I start, please keep in mind that you want to consult your nephrologist before adding any new supplement to your regimen. Okay, let's start. Very first entry is going to be a natural supplement that was tested in stage 4 and 5 patients with one goal in mind. Delay end-stage renal disease as much as possible. And the results they obtained were wow. impressive. In particular, stage 4 patients were able to increase their GFR by 12.4% in just 3 months, as we can see here. What they use in this study is Astragalus membranaceus. This is a type of flowering plant that is used to help with various conditions, especially diabetes and kidney disease. The root is the part containing the active compound, but you are most likely to find the extract for sale. So what are the benefits of this root? Studies say that it can lower blood sugar levels and treat diabetes. As we can see, in this meta-analysis, astragalus significantly reduced fasting plasma glucose in people with diabetes. Fasting plasma glucose is the most important marker of diabetes, and this meta-analysis involved 1,054 participants. We can be sure that these results are solid. But there is more, because astragalus was also studied on kidney patients without diabetes. In 22 studies that involve 1,323 participants to be exact. And well, the results were pretty impressive. On average, participants were able to decrease their creatinine levels by minus 21.39 millimol per liter. And yes, this makes Astragalus one of the three most impressive ancient supplements for kidney disease, in my opinion. So if you want to try Astragalus, there are two ways to do so. First of all, you could take the extract. In most studies, test subjects took 2.5 grams of Astragalus twice a day for up to one year, which is the equivalent of 250 milligrams standardized extract. You can easily find it on Amazon. 
Now, I don't recommend this to people who receive a transplant and in any case, talk to your nephrologist before starting it, even if it's safe and it doesn't have interactions with the most common prescription for kidney disease. And if you want to learn more, I've made a full video about Astragalus, it's up here and also down in the description. Let's see now an ancient supplement that I use basically every day. I really love its powerful anti-inflammatory and energizing effect. But the reason this one is in my short list is another. Patients with diabetic kidney disease can benefit from a huge drop in creatinine levels when taking this supplement. The supplement I'm talking about is a special type of ginseng called Panax ginseng or Korean ginseng which is not the same as the ginseng people usually drink, so keep this in mind if you want to try it. Today, Panax ginseng is one of the most widely prescribed and intensely studied supplements in complementary medicine. And I love ginseng, it's a great alternative to coffee and it makes me feel great. It can boost blood flow, which is an amazing way of improving kidney function. And it lowers cholesterol levels according to studies. Now the best part, people suffering from diabetes are going to get incredible results from it. But everyone with kidney problems could benefit from this ancient root. Studies are showing that taking Panax ginseng can lower the inflammatory markers in the body significantly. And this is crucial if you want to improve the health of your kidneys. Remember that there is an important inflammatory component in kidney disease. This means you need to take action against inflammation if you want your kidneys to improve. Now a question, how to find the perfect ginseng supplement? Not all ginsengs are created equal. There are several types and qualities of ginseng. What I'm focusing on today is called red Panax ginseng. This is not the same as Chinese or American ginseng. While those are mostly used for their taste and energizing effect, Panax ginseng of the red variety is what you want to fight diabetes. This slow-growing short plant with fleshy roots can be classified three ways depending on how long it is grown, fresh, white or red. Fresh ginseng is harvested before four years while white ginseng is harvested between four to six years and to be classified as red ginseng, it needs to stay in the ground for six years or more before being harvested. More studies actually used red Panax ginseng extract, and this is what you want. Question, who would benefit more from taking it? One of the main benefits this root has is its ability to lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. This effect is well documented and powerful. Type 2 diabetes patients that took Panax ginseng for 12 weeks saw an impressive 11% drop in blood sugar levels and an even more impressive 33% increase in insulin sensitivity. And this is an amazing result, frankly, but it almost means that you will want to keep your sugar levels monitored if you want to try it. So if you have diabetes, I really think this route can help you. I wouldn't recommend this supplement to people who are having trouble sleeping. Even if ginseng is not as bad for your sleep as coffee, it's still better to take it in the morning. It has a powerful stimulating effect. And also people who have received a transplant and those with an autoimmune condition should avoid it. Panax ginseng is very safe, but it's best to start with lower doses and increase over time. Always buy ginseng from a trustworthy company because it's an expensive brew. There is a risk that disreputable manufacturers might sell ginseng with other things added in or include less than advertised on the bottle. Now, this begs the question, are these supplements safe? Guys, if you have been following me here regularly, you may already know that I like to keep the number of supplements that I recommend to a minimum. I mean, I get a lot of comments asking me to talk about this or that hype new product, but more often than not, I research them and then end up not talking about them. And the reason is simple. Most people here are already taking a huge amount of pills every day, and this may create a risk for unwanted interactions and side effects, which is dangerous. 
So experimenting with supplements is not something I recommend to those with kidney disease. You may now understand why I don't like to talk about preparations or supplements that have not been studied in depth enough or that are just the hype of the moment. On the other hand, the supplements I actually show you are those that have been tested on thousands of kidney disease sufferers. The supplements that are actually safe because you don't have to experiment on yourself but you can benefit from the research conducted by actual scientists and researchers. Enough next, we will take a look at one of the most impressive natural supplements I've ever seen. In a review of 22 studies on it, published on the Cochrane Library, almost 1,000 CKD patients in all the stages were found to have significantly lowered their creatinine levels. These patients greatly improved their kidney function, reduced proteinuria and also hemoglobin and serum albumin levels. All thanks to Cordyceps Militaris. Now Cordyceps Militaris is one of the most prescribed supplements for kidney patients in Asia and this shouldn't be a surprise as per my thumbnail, CKD patients in late stage 3 and 4 who took 100 mg of this supplement for 3 months were able to lower their creatinine levels by 18.3% and it is also widely tested in Europe and in the US on patients being treated with conventional medicine which is very important because we need to know that this is safe. And as I was saying, almost 1,000 CKD patients were found to have significantly improved or their most important markers when adding cordyceps to their normal regimen. These patients greatly reduced their creatinine levels, reduced proteinuria and also hemoglobin and serum albumin levels. This basically means an all-around improvement in kidney health and kidney function and just by adding a single supplement to their regimen. So question, how to choose the right cordyceps supplement? There are many ways to take cordyceps, I mean, you could literally make soup with it, but in medical literature, using the extract is the most common way. Cordyceps extract may be made to guarantee a certain amount of cordycepine, the most powerful active ingredient in this fungus, this is important because in one of the most complete studies on cordyceps for CKD, researchers were able to isolate what components of the cordyceps can treat kidney problems, which is cordycepine. So if you want to buy cordyceps in extract form, double check that the producer was able to certify cordycepine percentage. Now guys, in medicine, you will rarely see one size fits all, all right? Which means that you will usually be given solutions that are tailor suited to your needs. So question, who should be taking cordyceps and who shouldn't? This supplement is widely tested and it is beneficial for CKD sufferers with or without diabetes, especially those in stage 3 and 4. It can be even helpful for those in dialysis because it helps with anemia. Now I can also tell you that those with high protein levels will benefit even more from cordyceps because it is extremely effective against this condition and diabetes too, because it also lowers blood sugar levels. But this also means that you need to monitor your levels regularly, okay? Now, cordyceps is safe, but I wouldn't recommend it to transplant receivers. And guys, as I was saying in the beginning of the video, these supplements can help, but the foundation of your treatment is the renal diet. Now, I recently made a video that, in my opinion, makes it a lot easier to understand how a renal diet should be planned according to the most recent studies. It's up here if you want to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.